Chapter 7 Day Room The white and Mexican inmates shared half the inside of the building considered the day room. The Asian and black inmates shared the other half. The showers were also marked territory on both sides. But in the middle of the building, behind the podium 20 feet, there were another set of showers on both floors. I realized I knew one of the Asians putting his towel on the bottom shower. That meant our showers were upstairs in that area. Standing next to me, Damon said, I guess we shower on this side and upstairs in the middle. I nodded my head and said, That Asian down there goes by K-9. K-9 was a Vietnamese gangster who was in the Orange County Jail with me. At five foot two, and in his late 30s, he was doing a life sentence for murder. His body was a portrait of Asian tattoo ink from his neck down over a body full of bunched up muscle. He had been the leader for the Asians in the cell modules of the Theo Lacey jail. Damon said, he looks like a warrior. I said, he is. I scrunched up to the crack in the cell door and yelled, Excuse me on the tier, K-9, what's up? It's BJ. K-9 looked in our direction, and I waved my hands in front of the plexiglass window. He squinted his eyes even further than normal and asked in a heavy Vietnamese accent, Who dat? Who know my name? I yelled out, It's BJ from K-Mod at Theo Lacey. K-9 walked to the edge of the day room, five feet away from the cell so he didn't step into the side of the day room that we shared with the Mexicans. He turned the corner and recognized me and smiled from ear to ear. He yelled out, What up, Bugs? When you get here? When I was with him in the county jail, he could never pronounce my name BJ, so somehow we were good with him calling me Bugs. I yelled out, I just got here. K-9 said, You know Spanky here too. He my celly. He pointed to the other side of the day room and I saw Spanky sitting at a four-person table playing cards, probably Pinochle. Spanky looked exactly like the Spanky on the Little Rascals, but the Asian version. He was only 19 years old and was also doing a life sentence for murder. Even though he could pronounce my name BJ, he called me Bugs also because K-9 did. Spanky got up from his table and walked to the edge of the day room from the other side. He yelled, Hey, Bugs, you need anything? Back in the county jail, we always asked each other if we needed anything. It was a common courtesy. I yelled out, No, thank you. I'm good. Hart was sitting at the podium watching us with an amused look on his face. K-9 saw me looking at him and walked back the way he came along the edge of the day room for 20 feet until he got to the middle and past the stairs where he could go to get to Garcia. I heard him ask, Can I go talk to Bugs? Garcia looked at me with a confused look on his face. He probably thought he was hearing my AKA. K-9 got to our cell. He said, I go back to court for retrial. I knew he had been in the county jail for six years fighting his case. He had an expensive, high-powered attorney. It usually didn't help in Orange County. In this case, maybe it had. I said, Good luck. I hope it works out for you. He said, The appeal court rule evidence no good for trial, so maybe I get out. I had seen Orange County allow evidence back in through an entire new trial that had been ruled out. It was a last gasp effort to try to keep the inmate that they had decided was guilty for at least another year or more money spent on court paperwork filing motions, and hearings. The guard in the tower tapped on the microphone to signify an announcement. Attention in the building! Day room for the white inmates! You're off lockdown already!